All right, everybody, so this is going to be our Jean-Michel Basquiat Neo-Expressionism project. So this is going to be a two-week project. I'm going to show you parts one and two. And for this project, we're going to be learning about Jean-Michel Basquiat, who was a black artist in New York City around the 1980s. So we're celebrating our Black History Month with learning about all, all about this really awesome artist. Um, so his work, as you'll see in class, is going to be really super expressionist, meaning that it's kind of impulsive. So he used his feelings um, when he painted, or he just kind of did whatever he want, however he wanted to do it. So he didn't really come into his artworks with a plan. He just kind of started making lines and marks. And the great thing about neo-expressionism is that we don't have to make stuff perfect. So we're kind of going for just impulsive, do whatever you want, whenever you want to do it on your artwork. And we're going to end up with something super colorful and we're going to use a wide variety in this project. So variety is going to be our main art word that we're working with. So I want you to use a variety of materials, a variety of colors, a variety of techniques, and a variety of lines. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do on our project is I want you to pick an animal and I want you to draw that animal on your page. Now I want you to pick an animal that means something to you because very much like Jean-Michel Basquiat, we are going to draw a crown over the top of it and the crown is going to symbolize something that is important. So you're gonna pick an animal that you like, sketch it on your paper, and then draw a crown above it. Now, I have drawing tutorials on my website. There's step-by-steps on different um, animals, and they'll just show you, you know, step-by-step -step which one you can do. You're welcome to go online and look that up or somewhere else for drawing tutorials, or you can just draw it yourself. It's totally up to you. So um, pick an animal that you like um, or that you, um, have as a pet or something like that drawn on your page with a crown over the top. So we're going to start with that first. So for my example, I'm going to draw a turtle. So I'm going to draw a nice big shell. Some legs. rounds of shell texture in there, something like that. And then I'm going to draw a crown over the top. So crown's going to be like a W shape like this with lines coming down and meeting at the bottom like that. And then Jean-Michel Basquiat also always kind of did like an outline around his crown shape. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember expressionism is sort of different. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go through and add color with marker today. So remember with expressionism, we don't have to make things perfect. Um, we don't have to color in the lines today because we're doing emotional artwork, expressionist artwork. So um, try to keep, you know, the general shape of your item, um, your animal visible. Like I might go through and, and trace my lines with a marker just to make sure that they don't disappear when I'm coloring with other colors. But um, remember that they don't have to be totally perfect. Jean-Michel Basquiat was all about kind of this impulsive, kind of do whatever you want when you want to do it on your painting um, kind of an artist, okay? So you can go through and um, color in, you know, the sections however you want. You could do different um, ways of coloring in the different sections of the animal. And remember, you choose whatever animal you want. It doesn't have to be... A turtle. It doesn't even have to be an animal if you want to draw something different. You're totally welcome to do that. Um, and then what we're going to do is, as we are kind of drawing, we're going to add in some interesting lines in a few areas in some different colors. So maybe, you know, maybe I want to do a color that isn't on this turtle normally, like red, for parts of it. So I can put some red on there. And then what I want you to do is make sure that you get your crown colored in. So you don't have to make it a gold crown if you don't want to. You can make it whatever color that you want. Um, but I do want you to get some color on your paper today with marker, okay? Because next time what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some, uh, some different things with watercolor paints and crayons. Now the other thing that Jean-Michel Basquiat usually did were things like words. So you could write some words that have to do with your animal 
Um, you could even, you know, talk about the crown. Um, you know, you could you could write all kinds of different words around it if you want. You don't have to remember Jean-Michel Basquiat. It was kind of all about some different craziness happening. So I'm just kind of adding in a few lines. You could even draw more crowns somewhere if you wanted to. And we're just getting a few things done with marker today because like I said, we're gonna add more next time with things like crayon and watercolor. So get your animal, get your crown, maybe write a couple words, a few marks with your uh, markers. And then next week, we're gonna add to it. Okay, so for part two, we are going to need crayons and watercolor paints ready for today's class. I highly encourage you to find a white crayon if you have access to one. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more textures and shapes. And remember, we're all about variety with this project. So I want you to add a lot of different things in a lot of different ways to your project. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with my white and I'm gonna just kind of do some scribbling. I know that sounds weird for art class, especially when we're always talking about craftsmanship, but I'm gonna add a bunch of white crayon scribbles kind of throughout my paper. And even though you can't see them right now, when we go back through with our watercolor paints, you're going to see them then. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with a couple other colors. So I'm just gonna do, you know, you could do some more um, shapes if you want. You could do some more words. Um, and you can kind of just experiment with some different things. You could even draw some more crowns. You could draw another turtle, whatever you'd like. And remember, I just, I'm really looking for you guys to show me variety this time. So we're, we're talking about having lots and lots of different stuff happening in different parts of your project. So overlapping some of the things you do is always kind of fun. If you want to add in, you know, just a few fun marks here and there. Basically, the more marks you add, the cooler it's going to end up at the end. So we're really looking for layers of color, filling up that page, getting a variety of things happening, because then what we're going to go back through and do is get our watercolor paints out and paint in with different colors as we see them. Okay, so I have my watercolor set up ready. And just like we talked about a lot with this project, we're going to be doing just really um, in just whatever we want, whenever we want to do it. It's, it's really just kind of whatever you want to do for this part. Now what I want to show you is what happened with these crayon marks that I had you make, especially with the white, is you're going to see that wherever you made crayon marks, the paint will not actually soak into the paper right there. So you're going to end up with a resist that happened. It's called a resist when you've got these really cool little marks that you've put on your paper. And as you paint on top of them, because the crayon is made of wax, the wax will resist the water and the paint, and it will make it so that you just see the white marks on the paper instead of just the, the paint soaking through everywhere. So this is a cool technique that you can use, and this really, really helps along with this really cool idea of expressionism because it really looks textured. It looks a lot like Basquiat's work. And you can see that I'm just kind of going through and adding in the colors however I want, wherever I want, kind of changing colors every once in a while. And once this is all colored in and finished, it's going to be your nice neo-expressionism, Basquiat style artwork. And remember, we're going for variety, so try to switch colors, try to give me a variety of different art materials that you use, techniques. If you wanna do some frottage work, remember when we did our texture rubbing frottage projects, you can always do some textures on top of this as well. And you're trying to get your whole background kind of colored in somehow for me. And then once it's all complete and dry, you are going to go ahead and take a picture once it's dry. Make sure you do let it dry out first um, and then turn it in on our Google Classroom. So I'm looking for variety 
and I'm looking for an animal with a crown and some other things happening in the background. If you have watercolor and crayon, try this resist technique and have fun. Awesome work, everybody.